I, I want to really thank Cooper City. Um, the, the church is really very special um, for me and now also for Sabine. Um, um, it has been too bad we couldn't be together here right, um, uh, in this time, but um, we, we, just, we just are so thankful. Um, you know, it's maybe on the same side sad and, and, and joyful, but Cooper City is the only church that in the whole South Florida at this moment after two, three years of witnessing who is regularly um, uh, monthly supporting us and um, I'm very, very thankful for it, and, um, and um, I'm thankful for the prayers, for the contacts we have, and um, we just, um, I believe, uh, and we say it all the time to our supporters, all what they do, what they p participate for, uh, for our work, once we will be before the Lord, and um, and it's always our prayer that the work we are doing will be a work of gold, you know, of gold and silver and precious stones and not just some wood that will not stand the fire. And I believe when we will come once, one day before the Lord, that we will be together with all the people who have ever supported and prayed for our work. And certainly Cooper City will be part of it. And it will be a glorious moment. Thank you. I want to thank the Cooper City Church of God for being such a loving church. First of all, for loving God, and then for loving each other and, and loving the missionaries who come here. This church has been so characterized by love. And every missionary that I know that's come here has been touched by your love. It starts with your pastor and with your staff, but every one of the members of this church have really shown me tremendous love. And I thank you for that. And I keep thinking of that scripture and where, where God says they'll know we are Christians by our love. I just want to encourage you to just keep on loving. Love God. Love your pastor. Love each other and love the world. And we'll love you right back. Amen. Thank you for letting us be real. Thank you for loving us for who we are. And thank you for allowing us to come and pouring into us. It, it means a lot to us that all of you, everybody, cares about us. Sometimes you go to places that they don't care for you as much, and some don't even want you where in, your, in their church, to be honest. But you do, and you love us, and we appreciate that. And it's just a time for us as missionaries to get together as, as missionaries and to just have a ref, just a, a, a place of rest. And so thank you. To say thank you for every mission conference that we've been able to attend. I think we've only missed two uh, going back at 17 or 18 years, I forget. Um, the uh, 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 first one we went to was the last one you had in Miramar. Every year you have encouraged us, you have instructed us, you have inspired us. The love that the church pours on us cannot be described in any other way, but thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm speaking for all the missionaries. They all say it, the same thing every year. Um, we are now refueled. We can go back to our respective fields and we can give a portion of the love that was given to us. Thank you for that. Cooper City, just go for it. I mean, you are an awesome church, and you are bringing witness to people here in southern Florida, and just go for it. This is the day of the Lord. This is the day in which we should uh, attempt great things for God. There was a famous missionary to China named Hudson Taylor, and his he was a frail boy. People thought he would fail. In fact, he failed the first time he went to China. But he had this sense of call that wouldn't die. And he, that call compelled him to go back. And he founded one of the greatest mission organizations uh, in history. It was called the China Inland Mission. And he had a motto. And that motto was, uh, expect great things from God. Attempt great things things for God. And that's what we should do. We should expect great things, attempt great things. So just go for it.